Hi everyone. GitHub has released something called GitHub Copilot CLI. Copilot was a great tool and we have used it in our day-to-day -day life for a pretty long time. Now, they've introduced this CLI command line interface specifically for GitHub Copilot. Today in this video, we are going to try out the CLI from GitHub Copilot in my system and we'll try to create applications and go through code bases with the CLI. So without wasting any further time, let me dive in and let me show you what exactly GitHub Copilot is all about. This is the official blog of GitHub Copilot and now the CLI is public in preview mode. So you can install Dor in your system and you can right away use it. So this is the repo of GitHub Copilot and we have all the information about how to install this thing into your system. All you have to do is run this npm command and to launch all you have to do is give this command right here copilot so let's copy this one and let me go to my terminal now i'll paste it right here click on enter so this one was a permission issue so in that case all you have to do is give this sudo then npm install and enter your password will go through yeah it is installing all right so it just installed so let's see if it is installed successfully in the system for that just type copilot hyphen hyphen banner all right so it is successfully installed now uh, let's go to some of the folders and let's try to work it with that folder all right now we are in the folder calc now let's launch the copilot all right so we have it right here now click on yes so in order to log in just use this command slash login copy this code all right okay we have successfully logged in now we can use the copilot so first let's ask to summarize what we have in this code base so here is my prompt and I'm trying to summarize what this project is all about and what are the tech used in it. So what I've typed is summarize what is this project about and what are the tech used in it. Now I'll click enter. All right, so we have the result. Now let's check what it is. So project summary, this project contains two separate application in the same directory, one modern scientific calculator, yes. So the first one was a modern scientific calculator and we have files like index.html script.js style.css what is it a fully functional web-based scientific calculator with an elegant dark theme design features advanced mathematical operations beyond basic arithmetics so we have the features right here like basic arithmetic operation scientific function advanced operation memory functionality factorial calculation and oh, a lot so that did a great job by summarizing the first project then we have a second project and that's a travel and lifestyle portfolio website and it is also showing the main files like portfolio.html portfolio.js and portfolio.css and we have the details about what it is and the key features right here so we have the technologies used and so we have the technologies so we have the informations about the technologies that are used in these two projects so it is html5 css3 css grid and flex boards all those css things that we have used and vanilla javascript and the external resources like google phones font awesome and pretty much everything that are present in both of these projects are here which the GitHub Copilot successfully summarized the whole application. All right, now um, let's try to create something with this uh, GitHub Copilot CLI. So let me create a directory, mktir, and I'll name this as GitHub CLI. All right, so I was trying to run the command mk like mkdir GitHub CLI. So it is asking me if you want to run this command. So I can say yes. 
or no all right so i'll just say yes oh cool yes so the github cli is created since we have already created the directory now let's ask the cli to move to the other directory so i'll say change so change the directory to github cli let's see if it is going to run but the problem is in here it shows like project slash calc oh okay let, let me just run this list command the current directory is github cli all right now let's try to create something in this github cli create a so I'm trying to create a simple Pac-Man game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in this particular folder, GitHub CLI directory. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if it is actually the working directory is GitHub CLI because I can see that right here it is just showing us project calc. Okay, maybe we opened the GitHub Copilot in this folder. That might be the reason. It is showing this. Okay, let's see. All right. So we have the HTML file right here. So it is going to create this file. We'll click on yes. Then this is the CSS file. Click on yes. Then this is the JavaScript file. Click on yes. So created index file style.css and script.js yes and this is created inside the directory that we just asked it to create now we have the message right here perfect i have created a simple but fully functional pac-man game with the following features game features core gameplay classic pac-man movement with arrow keys and controls ai ghost four different colored ghost okay then visual design, retro arcade styling with authentic colors and all those. So we have the information about how to play. Open the game, open in that start HTML in a web browser. Then click start game, controls use arrow keys to move Pac-Man around the maze. Objective, collect all dots while avoiding ghost. Power mode, eat the large blinking dots to temporarily make ghost vulnerable. And we have the technical implementation like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So this game runs at 5 FPS for playable pace. Includes development. All right. Now let's open this file. So here is the folder that it created. And this is the index.html file. I'll just open it. All right. So we have the game. Click on start. cool so the actual game is working and this game is created by the github cli cool so you can do complete task with this uh, cli so the game is really good or uh, it just created with plain html css and it didn't take a lot of time now if you want to mention some files like so you can use this at simple and you can use the files right here and you can choose the one that you want and if you want to run some commands all you have to do is click on slash then you can clear that's it feedback and there is a lot like login log out all those things so there is a session so it will show the information about the current cli session you can so here is the session id and you can use clear to clear all these thing that we have in the cli so you can just use slash clear cool so that's how you install github copilot and use the copilot you can use this in any of your terminal if you use visual studio code you can use it from there so this is an this is my visual studio code so i'll just open 
see now we have the copilot in the visual studio code the cli so that's how you use github copilot in visual studio code or in any of the terminal interfaces that you have so that's it for this video we discussed how to install github copilot into your system then run commands or summarize your code bases analyze and build applications and you can do pretty much everything so what do you think about github copilot let me know that in the comment section till then this is castrogy joseph signing off bye